In the aftermath of the explosion of the Deepwater Horizon oil rig, investigators focused on the failure of a part of the well's blowout preventer that is supposed to seal off a well spewing out of control. The device, called a blind shear ram, cuts the drill pipe and seals off the well in a blowout. While the blowout preventer has many components, only the blind shear ram can completely seal the well. It is the last line of defense. After the explosion, at least one rig worker hit the emergency button to activate the blind shear ram. The system is designed to send an electrical signal from the rig to one of two control pods on the top of the device. A control pod sends hydraulic fluid from pressurized canisters to the blind shear ram. The fluid enters through a T-shaped valve called a shuttle valve, pushing the pistons which drive the ram to shear the drill pipe. A ram with rubber seals closes off the well. Locks move into place, preventing the pistons from moving backward. Oil pushing up from the well adds pressure, helping to keep the ram closed. But the blind shear ram did not fully deploy that night. And a number of the blowout preventer's components have come under scrutiny, in particular those that have no backup. One example of this is the shuttle valve. As the hydraulic fluid flows through the system, it has two possible pathways until it reaches the valve. Here, the hydraulic fluid has only one place to enter the blind shear ram. So if the valve fails, the well will not be sealed. There is no backup.